Je donne la parole à son Excellence M. Wan Junaidi Tuanku Jafar, ministre des Ressources naturelles et de l'Environnement de Malaisie. Monsieur le ministre, vous avez la parole. Mr. President, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, in 2009, the Right Honorable Prime Minister of Malaysia, Dato Sri Nadip Raja, announced that Malaysia had adopted voluntary indicators to reduce the greenhouse gases emission intensity of GDP by up to 40 percent compared to 2005 intensity level by 2020. Conditional on receiving finance, technology transfer, and capacity building from developed countries. But for our INDC, we have a much higher ambition, figure which is 45 percent by 2030. Malaysia measures to address the issues of climate change, the moment, environmental degradation, and sustainable utilization of natural resources under the 10 Malaysia Plan for the period 2011 and 2015. This plan has resulted in the Malaysia achieving a 33% reduction in emission intensity by GDP 2013. During this time, the energy sector has been the major contributor to national GHG emission. The sector was prioritized mitigation action and so the introduction of the renewable energy policy and the Renewable Energy Act in 2011. The policy in the Act enabled the launching of the feed and tariff mechanism to accelerate renewable energy growth in Malaysia. The effort will be continued under the Urban Malaysia Plan 2016 and 2020 under the Green Growth Agenda. This agenda calls for strengthening the enable environment, including policy and regulatory frameworks, human capital and green technology. In addition, investment and financial instruments will be further strengthened. The Green Growth Agenda takes a broad approach that includes conserving, conserving our biodiversity. I would like to highlight the Malaysia's forest cover to date stand at 54.5%. Here we reaffirm our commitment to maintain at least 50% level of forest tree cover in perpetuity through zero net deforestation and degradation, thus halting net forest losses by deforestation and stopping net decline in forest quality. This would be achieved by reforestation and enrichment of degraded land to increase carbon sequestration and mitigate climate change effects. This can be achieved more effectively through expanding forest reserve and protected areas under the heart of Borneo and Central Forest Pine Initiative. Currently, we have identified about 144,000 hectares of land that can be restored in Central Forest Pine and 6 million hectares in the heart of Borneo. Additionally, Malaysia has implemented RENDDs plus we saw the estimated total of 97.5 million tons of CO2 emission avoided through the in improved forest management and for a period 2006 to 2010. However, financial technical capacity limitation, among others, can hinder the progress and effort to manage and conserve these natural resources. In this regard, external funding can offer viable solutions. Malaysia, too, is very concerned about adaptation. Program and flood mitigation alone have accounted for more than Malaysian ringgit 9.3 billion in spending in 9 and 10 Malaysia plan. Further funding is required for the implementation of mitigation program from 2016 onward. It is time Malaysia has developed action plan to enhance water security under the national water resources policy that need to be implemented. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, Malaysia has demonstrated commitment in addressing climate change. We would like to urge developed countries to fulfill the obligation stipulated under the Convention, which include COP16, 
decision that developing, developing countries should receive financial resources. This obligation encompasses providing means of implementation, including technology transfer, capacity building and develop, to developing countries. Malaysia support the centrality of UNFCCC, the important equity and transparency as well as the principle of common but differentiated responsibility. Malaysia look forward to the adoption of fair and balanced agreement and urge all parties to undertake ambitious emission deduction target for our future generation. Lastly, Mr. President, I'm happy to inform that the mean, the Asian region has once again indicated its commitment to address climate change and Malaysia, the chair, will formally submit Asian joint statement to the sketch here. Mr. President, thank you very much. Merci, Son Excellence, Monsieur le Ministre Jaffar.